What is up guys this is Tito back with another video with the latest evolution x ROM and this is the 11.5.1 and the build date here is of 17th December 2025 and this is the latest QPR1 build I think. About QPR1 let me talk about it. Well in the, my previous video on the best ROM of in 2025 I said Infinity X probably could be the best ROM. After flashing this Evolution X, I have to say here, the QPR1's ball game is totally different and it's just amazingly implemented on Android 16 in my opinion. This is the best version of Android 16 that I have ever seen or Android 16 could have ever looked because overall the UI is so well implemented. You have to feel every haptic feedback and everything while you are setting up the device and it's just too good. And here are some screenshots of the setup. It just gives you a whole another different experience. And if you don't know how to flash this ROM on your device, you can check out the flashing guide from the description box below. Now, obviously, I was on the previous builds where there was some like slight minor bugs. There are still somehow some bugs are present. I will talk about them. But most of the bugs has been fixed with the 11.5.1 Evolution X update. I was on the 11.5 update earlier. And from that, the 11.5.1, I would say it's much more improved in terms of battery life as well. And the security patch here is still of December 1st, 2025. So huge thanks to the developer for bringing QPR1 for our beloved POCO A5. Here's the settings panel and everything. If you just take a look, you will see that it's much more accented in my opinion and everywhere it just gives you that whole accent -y look. And for this particular wallpaper that I'm using, it's from the AI wallpaper app, I guess. And with that wallpaper, I'm getting this full violet kind of color. Obviously, you can change the colors from the themes but it just looks super good in my opinion in the whole UI. Look at the clock widget, the weather widget and everything and the animations of them overall it's just too good. The Google's weather app it just looks so sleek and you can actually customize these things if you'd like to just like this. And the quick setting panel looks pretty good. We have this kind of like settings and the flashlight here actually does have the flashlight brightness adjustment right now which earlier was not present. So that's really good that you can actually customize or change the flashlight brightness again. One more interesting thing is the volume panel. Let me show you how good it looks. And this is how the volume panel actually looks like. You can expand the volume panel just like this. And this actually looks beautiful. Even while calling, it looks super good. There is special audio and everything. You can control the media volume from here, the normal call volume, ring volume, etc. You can actually change from right here. So this is good. And everything just gives you haptic feedback. And from here, you can change the output device from the Bluetooth headphones to this phone speaker. Or everything is possible almost just notice that animation how good it looks everything just looks super good in the QPR1 builds one more thing is that let me show you the wallpapers and styles this is where it looks super impressive just looks different in my opinion from the earlier wallpapers and styles everything is just so smooth just look at this animation yeah everywhere there are the clock customization the amount of options and you can actually change the thickness of these clocks this is really good and even the clock color and even the size you can customize from right here whichever clock you would love to use you can use it from here now in terms of wallpapers yes it shows some kind of google photos i have disabled that there are the ai wallpapers the normal other wallpapers which were there earlier but there is this wallpaper studio as well what that does well you can actually choose a photo from google photos so let's assume i selected this wallpaper and here just look at this it has given the depth effect kind of and you can actually change the shapes of these and this actually looks pretty good and you can actually change the brightness of the background you can have this weather kind of customization by different weather it will actually change so yeah this is really really good how it will look you can actually increase the intensity and stuff of that even there are the cinematic kind of option there is add 3d motion to this photo option so yeah, you get the idea. There are these kind of effects that you can choose and you can actually set it to a wallpaper. Let me actually show you how it's going to look like with your wallpaper's face. And yeah, this is the QPR ones, like new kind of wallpaper theming you can say. Has this 3D or actually a depth effect kind of in the wallpaper. Check out the animation here. Yeah, it just looks good. But yeah, my face, it's just too bad to actually give a depth of this wallpaper but yeah definitely it looks good but first let me talk about one thing that's the play integrity well let me tell you 
right out of the box you won't get the full play integrity over here at least i didn't get it so i had to actually find a key box for it you have to find it yourself i'll just try to link it below in the description in the key box video or maybe just go to the support groups that's the best option in my opinion for the key box and once you get the key box go into the settings then the evolver settings then the miscellaneous settings and compound spoofing and from this key box at the station override just click on it and just select key box a custom key box and after you do that if you check the play integrity over here it should show all three actually passed right now even for me it doesn't show passed i don't know why but yeah my banking apps were set up and they are working for now i have tried to make payments and everything they are working but otherwise if you check play store it shows device is certified and in case if you are wondering about the google photos backup yes it shows this fixes can backup unlimited photos and videos at no charge so that's fine we still get the unlimited google photos backup here let me just straight up say the bad things or you can say the cons and the my overall experience with this rom first that's minor but still i face that all the infinity x rom too that is regarding the status bar or quick setting panel expanding and somehow for some time yes it was fixed but let me tell you it's much lesser than the 11.5 version of evolution x in the 5.1 right now yes sometimes i can see there is that bug where if i just swipe down on the quick setting panel it just doesn't expand i have faced that bug here too but it's much less in my opinion and hopefully it will be fixed in the future updates because i faced it personally in the infinity x round too one more thing that i want to talk about if i am playing music and i receive a call once i actually pick up the call on a bluetooth headset like this realme buds ar7 i couldn't actually hear anything from the buds and even i have tried it with my neckband that too actually did not give me any voice while i was playing music if i get a call that's when it happens but otherwise if you are not playing any music or anything if you're normally just receiving a call or something or you are calling someone that will perfectly work i have seen that to fix actually you have to turn off bluetooth or you have to just disconnect the bluetooth device and then reconnect it then if you place a call it will work so that is one weird bug that i have faced here now these are early builds of qpr1 but still i would say yes on the 11.5 the battery life was much worse here i would say it has improved a little bit but it's still not quite on like comparing to the qpr0 version in my opinion because let me show you with the aqua battery i have tested the battery life these are all estimated numbers but still i have got about six hours of screen on time which is not too good but yeah it's decent i would say and for qpr1 builds let me tell you this is probably the third build of evolution x with qpr1 so with time and more updates obviously the battery life will improve there is no worries but for now you are getting about six and a half hours of screen on time you can say overall and the screen off is about 33 hours that's good and the combined use it shows as eight hours for me at least battery health section for me it shows 69 percent this is how the battery settings looks like obviously it has the newer kind of design and if you just scroll down we obviously have the battery information right here the cycle count and stuff it's still there and on my battery i have had 11 22 cycles even that could cause a drop in the battery life and here are the thermal profiles you can set the apps thermal profile to performance browser camera etc yeah i have tested that with the benchmark apps and i'll show you that later now let's talk about fast charging well you can see the amps but let me tell you while fast charging the device from 37 percent to 90 percent it took just 26 minutes to actually do the fast charging only half an hour of charge and you are almost full battery so that's really good now obviously the battery widget and everything it's totally working fine here and there is the ask gemini kind of widget as well i have a lot of apps in my home screen but the overall look and feel it's just really good and in the settings panel in the recent panel i mean there is a lot of things like the app info split screen screenshot select and the clear option just notice the amount of option and there is screenshot select and if you go all the way to the left you can clear all that from memory there is the screen refresh rate customization we have the minimum and maximum refresh rate up to 120 hertz from 60 hertz there is per app refresh rate extreme refresh rate as well and i have selected it to minimum 90 and maximum 120 and with that let me show you in the test of website it actually shows about I don't know why it shows 60 fps here but yeah it should show actually 120 fps maybe it's a bug of this website but let's open the other apps and i already have a lot of apps open but still i'll open multiple different apps like play store i'll just go home on play store and let's open other apps like google home and the me home app 
and let's open this archive kind of apps too let's open other apps by the way the IR cluster is also working fine here let's open YouTube as well now let's open Instagram now let's open all the apps from memory let's see if they are still in memory Facebook I didn't open earlier that's why it could be not in memory but yeah as you can see all the other apps that I have opened earlier are still in memory and I can switch between apps just like this and they are still there in memory I guess and most of them are still in memory no issues overall in terms of memory management I would say this is a really good option and everything just stays in memory so RAM management here it's solid and let me tell you one thing the benchmarks here are just killer just look at the Android score and the other benchmarks that I have tested on this build it's just super awesome the stock camera here it's still the like a kind of camera it has the wide angle lens and 1x 2x kind of switching option obviously there is the front camera and with the rear camera if you switch to 4k you cannot actually switch to 60 fps with this obviously you need a gcam for that there is documents mode there is enhanced mode and there is pro mode as well you can shoot pro mode videos too if you would like to and there are more options from here you can get if you set up the camera and overall the camera quality and stuff it's totally fine i'll take a quick shot and just notice how quickly it got taken and in my opinion the overall quality of the camera it's really good so that was new otherwise we have the normal kind of things like the customization and everything i'll show you that in the last part of the video but first we in the app settings we still have the clone apps that you can use to have two accounts of whatsapp or facebook we have the app lock and stuff i have locked particular apps there are the sidebar feature as well you can enable that and if you just do that and yeah you can launch particular apps from here if you enable the sidebar kind of feature but i'll just disable that for the time being now in the sound settings obviously you will see this new kind of design looks really good and we have the vibration haptics yes there is touch feedback and the media vibration and stuff there is in call vibrations i would say all the way to the bottom yes there is dolby atmos i just disabled that because i was thinking that this dolby atmos is causing that call drop issue but yeah i didn't fix it it's still there sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't but don't get me wrong the dolby atmos sound quality over here it's really good for playing music if you love bass and you will totally love this dolby atmos kind of thing and obviously there is the graphic equalizer you can change the total eq and you can obviously do a custom eq too if you'd love that and there is a choose profile options for that live caption clear speaker all these kind of options are still there there is adaptive playback and dial but tone still looking sound all these things i'm not gonna bore you with all the older settings but let me show you what i can in the display settings we have the pocket mode and everything there is that enhanced hdr brightness i have disabled that because it was doing some kind of weird things there are the double tap to sleep high touch pooling rate display saturation and everything let me just go back and in the system settings you will get the buttons and there is the long press button toggle torch and let me show you that actually yes it is turning on the torch but i don't think it's in full brightness there are the navigation modes in the settings of it we have the navigation hint and stuff there is swipe to invoke assistant long press to search circle to search all these things there is the normal circle to search and the three button navigation as well there is the gestures the quick tap or the back tap kind of action there is swipe to take screenshot obviously that is working share a delete option is there lift to check phone i have enabled that to show ambient and let me show you how it works double tapping to sleep and if i just pick up the device yes as you can see it is working double tap to wake to as well is working fine film scanner also works great and with the always on display it just looks super beautiful the animation but yeah just look at that the animation with always on display looks sleek and by the way talking about the gemini stuff yes if you are swiping up from the corners it will give you the normal gemini and if you just press and hold on the pill bar it will give you that circle search kind of thing and that animation looks super good and it works perfectly fine no worries as you can see and there is a translate text kind of option yes that too is also working also there is a system operator you can check for updates from here there is usb configuration for file transfer and there is status bar kind of settings where you can actually get the headset and bluetooth kind of options and the clock position and stuff is there there is AMPM style 
brightness shader position obviously can change as well there was a battery style i don't know where it moved maybe they have moved it to the customization settings but i'll show you that later on obviously the app lock and stuff it's still there as you can see and the face unlock too should be working fine but the normal fingerprint scanner that i've been using it's great it's not a problem at all haptic feedback here it's totally different from qpr zero builds in my opinion it's just a longer and little more depth effect it has with the haptic feedback here i have to say the normal 5g speeds and stuff it's totally working and 5g or vnr calling is totally working fine and you might be noticing these logos or actually the overall status bar icons are totally new it just looks way better i would say this 5g logo it also shows sa on top and it has the like newer kind of battery logo has the battery percentage inside the icon now let me show you the customizations of this rom and in the evolver settings there are a lot of customizations in the themes we have the monet settings and everything and let me just go back we have the lock sound unlock sound and stuff added and we have the system fonts as well there are 100 plus fonts just look at the amount of option there is nothing dot font and stuff no need to worry you can add a custom font too as well we have the more themed icons we have the icon shapes navigation bar kind of customization just notice the amount of option here even the boot animations are there you can change it to multiple different options like these and it will give you a preview of how it look like then there is the screen of animation as well and there is the lock screen kind of customization there is this now playing media cover art etc you can add them and there is a status bar customization here you have the brightness control so sliding a finger on the status bar you can actually adjust the brightness there is quick pull down there is status bar tuner here and we also have the network traffic monitor ongoing progress bar chip Bluetooth battery stats and the colored icons and notification count but as of today you cannot actually change the battery icon style the option has been removed because earlier i think it was not working so it might be added in the future updates that's not a big deal i anyway use this particular battery icon which looks good there is quick setting panel customization compact quick settings brightness slider kind of things are there you can change the position to top to bottom and we have the quick setting on lock screen you can disable that for privacy reasons bluetooth tile dialogue is there and we have the notification option there is the edge lighting and everything and you can customize that we have the squiggle animation alert when it displays on and stuff then in the power menu we have the advanced reboot and let me show you how it looks like yes this is how it looks like you can tap on the restart and it will show you the advanced reboot kind of options in the miscellaneous settings we have the system haptics and you can actually change the scroll haptics and stuff even the volume slider haptic you can enable or disable it as you would like it we have the volume sound effect as well then there is the component spoofing kind of option from where you can import a key box then you can update play integrity fix from here we have this google photos and storage we have the enable game prop spoofing we have the select game props json file and there is a snapchat spoofing and stuff all these things are there there is hide app list option there is hide developer option and just look at the amount of option yes there is the no storage restriction ignore worldwide dimming unlimited screen record allow application downgrade and there is the ignore window secure flags so all these options are there even now even though this is the third build of qpr1 i would say the customizations are huge considering everything so in my opinion how do i feel personally if you ask me well i would say this is the best qpr1 implementation till date obviously because this is the third build that i have tried official evolution x with qpr1 and the, right now i would say if you would love to try qpr1 this is the best build that you can actually try and this is probably the best looking android 16 rom that you can try today in 2025 let me know down there in the comments what you guys think about this qpr1 build of evolution x and i personally am definitely enjoying this qpr1 build of evolution x and i hope with future updates it just gets better so thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is Tito from KDNDX signing off for today i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now